Moyashi Monogatari, Bean Sprout Story, inspired by Cave Story, it seems. Uh, I don't know much about this, just that I was told I should play it because it starts off, it starts off sensible enough, and then it goes a bit wacky. But I didn't want to touch it because it seems like I was there was a lot within the story I needed to get, and it wasn't translated. But Hawk and I has translated it, and I he has also released it. You know, I'll be putting all that info in the description as usual. And this, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it now. I don't know what to expect at all. I haven't seen anything on this game, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be something I beat in one stream. So. Let's just see what happens, I suppose. That's pretty instant. Oh, I see. <clears throat> okay, so gamepad is already registered in there. I'm just trying to figure out what my buttons do, but I guess I should probably figure that- Okay, found the save button. Okay. Auto save. On. Resume. Okay, so I found the pause button. Vague recollection of 1-1. One, one. No, never mind. Okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so... That's the shoot. Can I? Key configuration. Uh, I don't know how to configure my keyboard here with gamepad in mind. Uh oh. <laughs> how do I? <laughs> oh god. All right, let me explain, chat. So I'm on an Xbox controller, right? That's the start. The start and the back button are making page turn noises. This is A button. This is B button. Okay. I, I, I think maybe I can make this work. Maybe? It's... I just, uh, it's just a little weird for me to use this control scheme. When I play any platformer, like, at all, my control scheme is always A button does the jump, and X button does the action. So having B button jump and A button do the action is so foreign to my thumb. Oh god. What a start. <laughs> what a start to the game. Luna? It is. Nice. So, big recollection of 1-1. One, one. Uh, well, there's a key configuration. Yeah, I opened it, but it's, uh, it only tells me keyboard, not gamepad, so I don't know how to change it. Wait. I have special moves? What button does... What button does the special move? Try Top. L. R. Start. No. Oh, you can look down and up? What? Multi-directional? Oh, man. The B was a star. Oh. <laughs> Waste. Don't worry about it. Lily? I forgot I can shoot upwards after just discovering it. This should be fine. I appreciate when games don't have a cooldown on how much you can shoot, and it's all dependent on how much you can hit the button. Oh, here we go. One up! Nice. It's also still a little bit loud. 
Uh, but I don't think I can change the... Let me see. Let me go back to the title. There we go. That should be fine. It's quiet on the screen, but then it's like it explodes. Forest of Magic. Okay. Game auto is a that X in your level. Whether it's because you died or finished. Okay. <clears throat> See the volume like explodes compared to the uh, the overworld theme, so my ratings are pretty high. Hmm, <laughs> some of it's loud. Yeah, it's, 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 it's fine though. No. I can I can manage. I can handle it. What the hell is that? I'm I'm sure this will make sense eventually, but right now Right now I'm just as confused as you are Chad. I don't I don't really know what's happening either. I don't really know the, the plot of the game, but Patchy's here and Patchy is playing a platformer. A patch former. I tried. I tried, but it didn't roll off the tongue as well as I thought it would. Wait, can I? Can I? Can I go to warp zone? Nice. Hmm. <clears throat> I can see the where the inspiration for Cave Story comes from and the, the look of the design, but again, I've never played Cave Story myself, so I don't really know anything about it. So, if there's any real references to Cave Story. Uh, that's... I'm not gonna be able to see them. I do know about Cave Story a little bit, just because... I'm pretty sure it's considered one of the best indie games ever created. And that's probably not just a, a title that was given to some random, random person. Alright. Hmm. Clear. Nice. I don't know, uh, I don't know when Cave Story came out. But it, I know it's I know it's definitely one of those games that is uh, it's one of those games that comes to mind when you talk about indie games. Oh, there's two options here. Eternally standing giant tree. Never mind. Curious how my magic shop. Sure. That's a level. Okay. <clears throat> I just never played it. There's a... Oh, I see. There's a version on Switch, right? I seem to recall there be like a a, a a version of it. Okay. That like had a different soundtrack as well, or remixed or something. What? That's that's Mario. That That's Mario. That's Mushroom Mario. <laughs> I t Yeah? I told ya. I, I know. I told you that that was that was uh, that was Super Mario Brothers One Mario. I recognized the standing and then the uh, the moving animation, and now it's SMB three. You got Saint Elmo's pillar. Oh, you press down to open chests. There's another option here now, though. Hold on, I, I got this. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out as I go. Um, I'll appraise any weird mushrooms you might find. I'll even trade your prizes for rare ones. Hey, you don't have any mushrooms. Come back two hours earlier. What? Huh? Wait, I know this song. I know this. This is, yeah, this is Mario RPG. What? Chat, what is this track? <laughs> 
I, I know I recognize this track. I don't remember the the place it plays though. I just took all your mushrooms. Why not five yen? I don't have any. I have forty one yen. Where did that come from? What's this? I can't buy this. Pretty suspicious. Okay. Uh, eternally great standing tree, I suppose. Uh, it's the one town thing's missing with cask as a star. Damn. Yeah! I, I didn't expect to be playing a shooter platformer. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the start and back button changed my fire. Oh, it's holy water. Uh, I'll take this. I like this. I like being able to mash the button like a crazy person. Is that spaghetti? Chat, what is that? What is that? Oh shit! Uh, it's never ending! Fine, I'll go around. Wait, oh, that's a Suchinoko. Is it spitting? <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Wait. Get out of the way. I have an idea. There we go. I, I can't tell it. Okay. It was creating them. It's got like a ton of lives there. Japanese refers to using Zen terms on trade. This is the three fairies old house. I assumed as much, but the forest of magic. They never had a name, huh? So let's clear English the Japanese refers to by using terms and using untranslated interviews. So that's why it's called what it is. I see. I guess that tree never really had an official name, huh? They just lived in a giant tree in the forest of magic. It's in a it's in Puppet Dance performance as well. It's mentioned. Kinda not really offhandedly, I suppose, but it's definitely not as big a deal as It's not as big a deal as you think it would be. Mostly because they moved away. And their their new location is much, a much bigger deal. What is that? Is that frog? I think I see frog. No, I don't know that's frog. I'll get it. I got it. I got it. Easy peasy. Oh, I'm in. The, I'm I'm in the tree. Oh. Oh. Oh! I, I just- I just put two and two together. I'm- I'm on the tree right now. And the Suchinoko was there! And the vines are because that's how the Suchinoko kept the- the fairies out. And then Marissa showed up and was like, what if I just fucking burn it all down to the ground? And that'll wake it up. And the fairies are like, don't do that, you- you-, you whack job. You're gonna destroy our home. I understand! I get it! See? See, I'm not old yet. I can keep up with the kids. Oh, that said, I, I think I've lost my, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, no! I've fallen and I can't get up! There was... I have to get back up there. There's something up there I want to grab. Hmm. <clears throat> a giant hole in it. So the Suchinoko being an enemy there with the vines actually makes perfect sense. I understand because I read the manga! Oh, I gotta figure out how to get up here now. Okay, there's, there's gotta be a way to get through that hole. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah! Yeah! Don't let that despawn. Okay. Okay. I'm not quite sure what P does. There we go. What is this? Uh. 
It, it does not interact. Please come back later. What? Man. Uh, see you later, fairy. I wanted to interact with it now. It's blocked. <clears throat> it's like, uh... Maybe it's post-game. Whenever I see cubes like that, I think of, like, one of two things. That's Skyward Sword's, uh, goddess cubes. And, uh... Uh, Mario Odyssey's, uh, moon... moon rocks that activate. Those are weird. Actually, that... That begs the question. Chat, what's worse? Treasure charts? Or goddess cubes? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I need that HP. I'm down to one. Now, here's the thing. I, I, when it comes to Wind Waker and Skyward Sword, I've played Wind Waker more times, for sure. I, I, I think I've done less charts overall than cubes, even though I've played the game more. Because treasure charts just kind of... They seem pointless to me, in the sense that... It's like, okay, so you want a heart piece? So in order to find the heart piece, you need to get an item that shows you where the heart piece is. And I get it, it fits the whole, you know, Great Sea theme and whatnot. But at the same time, it's just finding a heart piece with extra steps. <laughs> so what's the point, right? Okay, so what's happening here? This is Alice's house, Forest of Dolls. Uh, wow, there's a lot of places I can go right now. Uh, Gembu Ravine. And, oh, I can't go over there. I mean, I can almost go over there. Let's go to Alice and see what Alice is. Wrong button. Chat, what is this music? Sounds like, uh, this music sounds like old RPG music that uh, from a game I... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Chill. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> ah! <sighs> oh, my mashing couldn't keep up. <laughs> I didn't think she was gonna attack me. This music doesn't indicate she's gonna attack. I was close. <laughs> you got no chien deluge. <clears throat> Ow. Is it, was it the Pikmin song? The one that's like really depressing when you read the lyrics? What's this? Susan and medicine. And then... Corindo. And then... It all begins in the human... There's so... Dude, there's so much shit to choose from. What... What do I go... What do I do first? I guess I'll go visit medicine. Guide Patchouli to medicine. Put your cursor on her and press Z to change her direction. Activate breakable blocks and transparent blocks with Z. Oh! They're timed. No, Patchy. No! Okay. All right, peep this. Technique, baby. Technique. I want to say that reminds me of Mario vs. Donkey Kong, but I haven't played a Mario vs. Donkey Kong game and. Probably since the original one came out, so I don't remember how that game works. Fairy of Butterflies. I wonder who that could be. Right. 
I have a new weapon. Boo booble. <laughs> this is the best. Wait, oh, it takes SP. Oh, I see. I, I now I understand what SP is. Hmm. You know what? When you think about it, a Pikmin song for uh, for Alice in that situation makes perfect sense because she just summoned her Shanghai dolls like Pikmin. <clears throat> Speaking of Pikmin, Pikmin Four. <laughs> I know this theme. <laughs> this is kind of Crash of the Dark Knight from Dawn of Sorrow. I love this theme. Also, that's Eternity. Boog. Whoa, shit! And now it's Rumia's theme? What a mashup. Crash of the Dark Knight with Rumia's theme? That is an amazing mashup. <laughs> that is so good. I want to speak! Yeah. Shit, butterflies. Got her. Third form? What's that? <laughs> Rings? I know what this is. She took Clown Piece's torch because for some reason Eternity Larva has the ability to use... Eternity Larva showcase she has the ability to activate Clown Piece's torch herself. She created a bunch of palm trees at the shrine with it. And they were like, whoa, Eternity, you're sick. And she's like, yeah, I know I'm sick. Oh, man. Bug fixes. Well, fix this bug. <laughs> I cracked myself up! My arm is now tired. <laughs> mm. <sighs> I am... I am impressed with the amount of references to the uh, the written works that I've seen so far. There's a lot of a lot of references to the the story of Toho in here that I'm catching because I did read the I did read the mango. How about that? I like references like that. All right. All right. Phase one. You knew it couldn't be this easy. My arms, uh... You must maximize damage by mashing. And you want to take those out before they spawn anything. Shit. That's fine, I'm going to phase three in a second here. down. Come on down. Okay. Phase three. <clears throat> I've used the, the new spell card. I like this one though. It's low cost and I can just mash. Almost perfect. <clears throat> Fairy of Butterflies, Garden of the... S okay, that... You, you, you're taking me in a dangerous direction. I'm, I'm going... I'm going back. I'm going back up here. I want to go to the Gembu Ravine. 
I have no idea which way to go at all, but I have a feeling Garden of the Sun is quite an upgrade to Gamma Ravine. <laughs> Let's back up a bit. Whoa, all right, crab, crab battle. Those crabs have a lot of HP. Oh, true crab battle, okay. Can rock on the boulder. Can I push it? Uh, no, I can't. <sighs> oh, he's big. Oh, he's big, all right. Oh, look how happy that frog is. <laughs> There's a thin line here separating me from the end. There we go. The crabs- Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, the crabs are like the springy things from Meg Meng that uh, go really fast when you touch the location they're on. And they, they, you know, they do do that. But they also, oh, they also fall off platforms too. Nice water effect. It is now time for crab. If I had that on hand, I would bless the stream, but I unfortunately don't. Excellent. I'm stuck. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna use this one because I can hold the button for it. Nice. Fell on the only thing on the screen that could possibly kill me at that point in time. Okay, hold on. There might be... I don't know if there's secrets in this game. There might be secrets. And if there's a secret... It would have to be here, right? Oh my god. Look at that turtle. How does he do it? What is this? What? Now what? Did I win? Marissa was selling one of those too. Uh oh. I have one HP. What? What shot? What's shooting? Oh, Sunny. I thought the enemy was still shooting. I can't get that. Another thing later. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, no, I regret. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> no, <laughs> I gotta do it all over again. That crab wins. No, that crab wins. Should have committed. <laughs> You're not wrong. But I didn't think. I, I thought. I thought jumping too far would be a death sentence, so I backed up, but it turns out not jumping far enough is what killed me. Sometimes that's just the way it's gotta be. Please don't. Crab. Yep. Okay. I should handle this better than I am. This is correct information, but the important thing is, is that I'm alive, and I'm gonna go through the I'm gonna go through the turtle cave this time. Multi-directional is great. <clears throat> I I don't know. Again, this this game is gonna get strange from what I've been told. I don't have specifics. That enemy is way too strong. What is he doing here? Why is he not the god of Gensokyo? Oh, well. Okay. Double crab one up. Not bad, not bad. He's turtling. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Why play game? No. <sighs> Do you believe in my ability to outmash that turtle? 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat that turtle. I'm gonna get him. Shit. I'm gonna beat that turtle. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Turtle injured. Turtle injured, arm tired. But if I don't, if I don't shoot fast enough, I don't kill them. Sonny, you're my friend, but right now you're not. That was close. Good thing there's invincibility frames. Yo! Not bad. Not bad! There's a staircase now? Oh my god, I just opened up two more levels and a staircase. Oh, uh, <laughs> Where do I go? Alright, give me a second, chat. Uh, I don't have any cold water right now, so I have uh, I have uh, a Coca-Cola bottle that my mom bought. It's 300 milliliters. It's kind of pathetic, and this is the first time I had Coca-Cola in months. Fun fact: it doesn't taste that good. Once you don't drink soda for a while, soda stops tasting good. Except now, you, uh, maybe maybe this is not a popular opinion. <clears throat> But, uh, I like so uh, fountain, fountain soda, or fountain pop, whatever you want to call it, more than I like regular. I don't know why. Lakeside Igloo? Oh, I know whose house that is. I don't know what it is, it just tastes better to me. Can I go on the boat to the Miodan Temple? Okay, hold on. I didn't go here. Yeah, Corindo. Whoa, is that marketable figurines? Alice Margatroyd roleplay set, 100. Ch character, change item. Don't buy. Uh, Kobeji Satori. I wanna buy that. Hey, welcome. <laughs> can I, can I buy? Hold on, what's up here? Cucumber vacuum and Master Spark pocket flashlight. Stage edition item. No idea what that means. Newton Science Magazine. I don't know what that does. Izayoi counter. Fishing rod. Fishing rod? Groovy Marissa? Tokiko no game. Okay, hold on. There's a lot of things that need to be done here. I'm buying this. Thanks, you can change behind that curtain. Yo! And cosmetic changes? Actually, if I destroy that, he's gonna charge me money for it. Now I have conjoined. <laughs> hmm. Now you have Satori, you can open those eye blocks. Oh. So, time to redo the level. Okay, hold on. No, I keep forgetting what button does that. So, so Sato Mimi Hood. So it's a, okay, yeah, so it's a, it's a Satori item I can buy. It looks kind of scary. So let me go back to, uh, let me go back here and let's get that, let's get that secret item. I am now, I am now Satori. Uh, chat, that crab is not taking damage. I don't see his HP bar. I think crab is immune to Satori. He, he can't get hit. He can't take damage. Uh. Uh oh. Crabs are immune to psychic damage. Yeah, who'd have thought?
All right. Oh, I got it. Yeah, she is, yeah, quite like conjoined because her damage output is spread between her, all her shots. Hmm. She has another move. I am cunt. Fro frog? Ah. She's Kirby! <laughs> She's the copy ability from Kirby. You got the Marissa doll. Grab battle. That's not what I expected Crab to give me. <laughs> the Tori powers. I ran out. I, I pressed it too much. <laughs> Amazing. The scan itself is a ton of damage. That guy doesn't have an ability. Go figure. Satori so makes perfect sense for a copy ability when you think about it. Keep forgetting how to get rid of it. Crab injured. Just wanted some money. Alright, I got an item. Story does make uh, be the best sense for it. Rumia makes sense in the sense of eating people, which doesn't really make sense at all. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to being patchy though. I keep hitting that button. I'm scared what he's gonna tell me if I if I destroy his mannequin. So I need to be Alice for certain things as well. So I think I should save my money for the costumes, and then wait. So the block in the great tree—that's an Alice block. Then is that what that is? I think about it. I don't. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know where to go now. It all starts in the human village. All right. I don't see. I don't see a doll. Unlocking characters unlocks the blocks. You don't have to play as them to open them. And it was an Alice block. Oh, okay. What is this music chat? This music sounds like it's oh. Oh. I see. <laughs> Chat, how do I defeat someone with such a confident pose? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Sensex. Oh, they get violent. Oh shit! What is going on in this village? Ugh. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, spring. Okay, I don't have to tie of anything. Blessed. Okay, HP's back. Alright. Is that it? I am a witness. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <clears throat> you got record number 39. I knew there would be a secret in there.
What is this stage? I I don't I have to know. He, he's huge. Well, what are they feeding these people? Okay. Dreaming? What is happening? This music, this at the stage. What? Where'd you get that bike? M machine gun. The Cheetah Man segment from Bashi. <laughs> he, he's back. Oh shit! Okay. Donut blocks. Yep. Is it over? Welcome. What? Huh? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> what? Okay. Good. That was the best stage yet. <laughs> human village. Start. What? Welcome to the human village. A fish. If I had a fishing rod? Oh, bet. The game has changed again. Rental library. Susan on. Instruction manual. $30? Suzu Technique. Welcome! $30! I wanna go fishing. Hold on, that block looks suspicious. I guess not. My HP in the town is 9,999. Aim toward the river and press C to cast your rod. Press C again when you bob or sinks to reel in your catch. Stop by Cordendo if you need a rod. I'll buy any fish you bring. Sound of nature. Ooh. Yo! <laughs> Chad, I'm going to buy a fishing rod. Don't stop me! You can't stop me! I'm here for one reason and one reason only. Thank you! Alright. Find a fish. No. 
All right, hold on. There we go. Now we're playing. Oh, I have to actually hit the fish. Get him. This, this water doesn't work. <laughs> what? What? Hmm. Just gotta wait for it. That was not fish. Ah. Uh, goo lagoon. Women want me. Fish fear me. What's this? Hi, Romeo. Dulahan under the willows. Start stage. No. No, I'm good. I'll start that stage. I'm going fishing. This is my day off. Turn around! Don't worry, Chad. I'm gonna get a uh, content claimed on cricket noises, cicada noises. There we go. That didn't sound like nature. What? You got record 127. Oh my God! I am gonna be here for the rest of my life. <laughs> Patchy, cast down. There you go. Maybe there's a record in every stage. Woo! Come on. It's right there. Come on. I'm getting ignored. I've changed my mind. How are you not going for that? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, there's no way you missed that. That directly in your you're kidding me. You you're 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 playing games. You're playing games. Turn, turn around. Look at that. Look, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> All right, now it's a mission. You you have to. That that's like that's on top of you. You have to. You have to take that one. Take the bait. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This, this is fucking fish. Did 
this fish, this is not a real fish. This is <laughs> not a fish. This fish does not exist. It's not real. We made it up. Nope. Nope, that fish isn't real. That fish does not exist. That fish is getting it backwards! Nice. Turn your ass around right now. <laughs> Music looped. <laughs> Yeah. Where can I go to catch Waggy Saggy? I wanna catch her and she's gonna give me uh she's gonna give me three wishes to let her go. Come on. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. I yeah, didn't Guilty Gear have a kind of like fishing system where you spend uh, like they're not gotcha. Oh, got a what up? Nice. Not like that wasn't gotcha, but like you you spend points and you fish to the pool and it gave you. I guess it was gotcha. Who, who the fuck am I kidding? No, you don't understand, mom. It's it's not gotcha. It's fishing. You mean you throw you you use your points as bait and then you catch a fish? Yeah. No, no, it's not what you think it is. It's not gotcha. This is a big stage. I know this thing. They climb up and they, they hit the taiko drum on it, right? Oh, there's a door that's open. Hmm. He ate a residence. This place, uh, it looks... Is that you racing? I'm here to sell medicine. Butterfly dream pill. Nightmare type. 30. New stage item. I don't know what new stage item means, but that sounds dangerous. Girls are now praying. Number 39, the stars and stripes forever. Susa. Borrowed from the classical music sound library. Human village. Uh, Shida and the Wanderer 2 in Natane village. Toa is shown nostalgic blood of the east. O old world. Plain Asia. Shin... Shinkiro Orchestra, you lose your items and levels when you die in roguelikes, but your real experience remains so you can improve and beat them. Mitsuo. Well, Mitsuo doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> Alright. My experience may stay the same in Isaac, but if I'm not packing DPS, I'm losing. Well, you have sometimes die instantly from having uh, Gitan thrown at you, though. Hit play again for Sound of Nature. Fortnite Forest. Okay, I have two records. Hello. Lately, I've had a worm eating at my books. That's a shame. Look at this green earth. Alright, I think I've been everywhere in town. So let's do the let's do the stage that's part of it. Oh, it's just a, just a bot. Oh, okay. Seki Bonky, this is not what they meant when they said get your head in the game! She has the Dracula fireball attack, dude. Only her head takes damage. It's it's yeah, it's it's like Dracula. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, oh. What? What's that attack? Burger. And then she screamed. I'm getting death slashed. Excuse me? <laughs> you can't do that! What is, what is this skill set? I don't know, thank you, Bonky. Good drive! Got her. Nice desperation attack. Got her. <clears throat> that sounds like the chainsaw sound effect, yeah. So that's technically that beaten then, huh? Oh, I didn't sell a fish to the guy. Hold on. I, I know, that's not the first time that theme has shown up. 
It's not Aria of Sorrows, it's Dawn of Sorrows. The DS one. Take my fish. Thank you. You don't have any fish. No, I don't. All right. So let me go to Corindo. Let me buy Alice. All right. It's Olimar. It's, 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 it's pick, it's pick, it's, 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 it's Pikmin. It's Pikmin. All right, back to the tree. <laughs> Kick their ass. All right. Let's go get that uh let's go get that block. Calling them back gives you your SP back. Nice. I'm going around that dude. Nice. Amazing. I I have I cannot I can't coordinate this very well. But it's neat. It's very neat. Alright. So there's the block. I gotta hit that. So let's get it. Yeet skeet, my dude. Nice. Hit, hit by a bullet. Get, get her. Get back here, damn it. Damn, they really popped her. Good. That should be enough. I should be able to get it with that. Eh. You got the Don Maku doll. There we go. Now I have to beat the level. One HP. I guess I don't have to beat the level, but I'm here. Face tank. <laughs> cool. So I don't have to be them at least. So now that I have them unlocked, I can just kind of have it permanently, huh? I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna go back. So, I still haven't figured out what stage item means. I don't seem to have a button that like does anything for that. Uh, they cost 30. Everything basically costs 30. Except this, this costs 10. That's surprisingly cheap. The items add a new stage to the world map. Oh, that's what it means by stage addition item. So if I buy these, wait, is this, is this Loogie? I'm, I'm buying the Lugi stage. Where is it? There's there's so many options. Who even knows if I'm close to a, uh, Lakeside Igloo? Uh, t shit. What do you what do you know? What do you, I don't know. Okay, what's the what's the plan, chat? What's the plan? Oh, I guess first I should do this. I should do the meal meal and temple first because it's here. Temple Road. Oh, that's a whole like, that's a whole world. Okay, hold on. Slow, slow, uh, slow down here. Paradise. Myohiga. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's too much. Uh, uh, uh. Shit. Where do I? Where do I? Where do I even start? Um. 
Yokai Mountain. The Underground. Rotolit Metallic. There's so many choices. I'm gonna go to cheer now. This is her little house, her igloo. It's Ice Climber. Oh my good god. <laughs> Holy Jesus, that ice is slippery. <laughs> D do you see that? Reacher. There's a crab. That crab just went in the wall. Whoa, you can. It's uh, right, it's Ice Climber. It's Ice Climber, it's Ice Climber, it's Ice Climber. Got it. Oh, that was close. Come on. that screen. Boosh! <laughs> no! <laughs> listen, listen to this. Classics. It's higher than you think! The ice? The ice is slippery, but it's more so like the, uh... That's gonna hit me. I got crushed by the cloud because it's a solid. The ice is more like a conveyor belt than ice. Dropped a record? Record nine? Of course. What are you asking of me here? What are you asking of me? Give that back. Give me that. Give me that. Do I, do I just, do I jump? Okay. <laughs> that was hard. That was harder than you think. Slippery. Okay. Okay, okay. So now, I so I should buy, uh, I should buy the items that give, uh, locations. I need mushrooms to trade. 
Right, so uh, there's an item I can buy here, probably the, for the underground. Um, there's, uh, an item that, in the human village that was being sold. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna keep all this in mind as, as I go, I suppose. No! <laughs> Hachi can't swim. Oh, God! How to create ridiculous momentum. I'm good. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Do, do you see how much speed I get by jumping off of my- The, the ice physics translated to the air, dude! It's like Missile World! No! Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> all of your- all of your ground momentum is transferred into the air when jumping off of ice. So when I jump in the air, I slide around. This is Dayusei. Exactly what she does in the EOST too. <laughs> so when you jump off ice, your your physics on the air are treated like it's still you're still on ice. So that's why my momentum is all kinds of whack when I hop off it. It's it, it's it's just like Marissa Land and Marissa World jumping, dude. It's ah. Oh. oh my god. No 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 no. Now this is like EOSD as well. Do I really want that? I did it, I did it, I win. I didn't win, oh no. Boss? It's Fatty Whale, but it's the catfish. Yep, this is the boss battle theme from Kirby Superstar. I can't jump. Fatty Whale was never a fight I really cared much for. Okay, I thought so. I just wasn't sure if he had a hitbox. I only have one HP anyway, so it doesn't matter. Who's... There's the backflip attack. Who's, uh, whose theme is this mixed with? I hear the Kirby in it, no doubt. Yeah, this attack. Can't say Fatty Whale is my favorite to fight. I hated fighting him with Wheel. Cause it, you had to like, you had to be smart about when you ran into him. And, may, I, and I'm very impatient, so I could never like, properly wait. Whoa! Please back up! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close to how Fatty Wheel goes. <laughs> how about a hero wheel? Oh, baby. That shit was rough. Yuko's theme is in there? I don't hear it. I, I only really hear Kirby. I guess I need to unlock the track. Lake Top Princess. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Yo, the SDM's unlocked? Okay, hold on. There, chat, there's so many places to go! I'm going to the little Lake Top Princess. She's got a... a what is it called? Naginata? We Wheels? Wheels?
Cheap, cheap. I got bodied. Hmm. Oh, that was a big stage. Is that? That's tempera. Didn't see that attack coming. I like this attack. Because if I space properly, it doesn't hit me. I don't like that attack. Oh, I can shoot them. Okay. Almost done. Got her. Okay. <sighs> okay. I made a loop. Made a loop. Not bad, not bad. <sighs> now where to from here? Paradise? Paradise sounds too good to be true. What's my money at? Can I buy another stage? I can. Newton Science Magazine 30. Cool. I'll buy the games eventually. Um, where do I go now? Yokai Mountain or Road to Limit? Oh, jeez. You know what? You know what? I'm going. I came all the way down here and then didn't commit. I'm committing. I'm committing right now. Oh, this is going to be awful. Why is Yuka's ghost there? Don't step on the sunflowers. Oh, that's why. She is going... She's going to kick my ass if I touch the sunflowers. So I have to fight potted plants. Oh, this is a sticker brush symphony. <laughs> that's amazing. Togemon? Those are barrel cannons! Is this... Is this Sticker Brush Symphony with Necrofantasia? And a little bit of Remy's theme. God, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful arrangement. Yep. These levels are great. They were very difficult. They were very difficult, but they had great music to them. Dong Young Country 2 Sticker Bus Symphony, Call of Kill, or Dream Wars Scott, The Red Sipa, Spaghetti for Dead Princess, you and Owen, Blow Nobly, Black Cherry Blossom, Border Life, Necrofantasia. Uh, again, Tokyo Millennium. Hey, uh, Flight of the Bamboo Cutter. <laughs> Rear to the Moon, Metal Smoke. Jesus, that's so many themes mixed into one. Is that banana? Banania. Yes! Okay, that's what happens. It was an accident, Yuka. Chill out. God damn it. Oh. Okay. Mookie. Oh no! That's like undodgeable. <laughs> this guy's impossible. He's unbeatable. <laughs> He's undefeatable. I lose. Gotta be careful. Higher is better. Oh, 
That's a big cloud of smoke. Cool, cool dude. How do I defeat that? He's too cool. Of course the music notes hurt me. Because <laughs> why wouldn't they? <laughs> okay, I don't have to jump over them. Just can't shoot them. This is a cool level. I know that these, uh... The thing is, like, you know, in Donkey Kong Country 1, aquatic ambience was, uh... The idea with aquatic ambience was, like, you know, people people, people didn't like water levels very much, so they wanted to make a sound, a, a music track to go with water levels that would make you think, like, oh, this isn't so bad. It's not like Donkey Kong Country's water levels are abysmal by any means, but, like, that was the idea of it, and, you know... Aquatic Ambience is probably one of the most well-known tracks. It's probably the most well-known track in the entire game. Uh, I don't know how it stacks up on like popularity in the grand scheme of all video games, though. But it's certainly very good. I like uh, I like Sticker Brunch Symphony more, and I I appreciate that those levels that the music is tied to are a pain in the ass. But at the same time, it's like. The music is so good that I don't really mind playing them, even though I find them incredibly difficult. That's the exit. Hold on, you know there's secrets. I gotta find secrets first. What the hell is going on up here? You got the Yiko doll. Alright. Baked potato. Can I kill those sunflowers, or is Yuka gonna get pissed? Hmm. I love Sticker Brush Symphony, yeah. Oh. I'm in a... PREDICAMENT! <laughs> no cool dudes here. I can make that jump. I can make that- I can make that jump! Don't underestimate me! Ugh. Ugh, you can't make that jump. I tried. I tried my hardest. I tried my best, but it's not possible. Waka waka! Oh, okay. <laughs> so I got the Yiko doll. I have acquired marketable plush, but I need to figure out. There's gotta be. There's gotta be like something else here, though, right? Surely there's. Surely there's another secret somewhere. So you have returned. Yes. Of of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Alright, no problem. I can't get back. I'm dead. I leave. Why did I shoot that? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Alright, no problem, bro. Alright, okay. I'm not done my... I'm not done exploring. I'm done exploring. 
Ah! Uh, did I keep the doll at least? I hope I keep the doll. I, I got everything in the level. I had to be sure. I had to be sure that I got everything. That's all it was. I know which way to go now, though. So. I didn't get that. I didn't get the cherry. There's some secret you're- I see it. I see it. My eyeballs have been enlightened. Yeah, what was the point of that? <laughs> There's no point. I did it. Clear! Oh, that was the final. That was the last. Okay, I did it. So that means... Now I can go to, I can go here. I can buy the Satomi Mi Hood. Nice doing business. You don't have any mushrooms. I have mushroom now, don't I? I'm back two hours earlier. What does that mean? What does you mean two hours earlier? So now I just need to buy the one that uh, Raisin was selling. Uh, hmm, it's an EOSD quote. Yeah, I know, it's uh, when you beat easy mode. You beat easy mode. Sagi so tells you to go home. <clears throat> Actually, no, that's from Marissa. Pretty sure she mentions that to Raymo. But I know it's related to EOSD's easy mode. <clears> hmm. <throat> um. So, chat, now where? We can go to Yokai Mountain. We can start the sub world of Myoden Temple. We can go to the SDM. We can go to Paradise. We can go to Myohiga. There's so many places for Patchy to go. She doesn't know where. Underground is the whole sub area. This game is great, by the way. My favorite stage so far is the human village for how absurd it is. Those stairs are really underground. I know. But that's probably like the Mjolden Temple, right? And I feel like the Yokai Mountain is going to open up a whole bunch of areas on the Yokai Mountain. I'm gonna go here because I, th I think this can only go so far and then it's gonna stop me. We're gonna do Rotor Liminality. Hi. Nice boat. It's death. Yeah, it's death. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that attack. You don't, you don't, you, 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 you don't just throw your scythe like that. She's gonna fall on my head. I <laughs> fucking knew it. I can't move, I'm pinned. No problem. A lot of a lot of openings in her attacks, so I could mash my way through her. Oh god, options! Night parade of a million demons. Zun Zun's ambition. <laughs> Zun Zun's ambition. It's the cult of Zun Zun. Mushrooms. What the hell am I playing? Oh, yeah. 
power up. Here comes the court. I'm in the court. <clears throat> what? We're still going? Oh, of course. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> it's Phoenix Wright. It's justice! This is uh, cornered combined with Fate of 60 Years. Zun, 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 zun. <laughs> you got record 31. Nice. All right, so this is a long level. Huh? Let's do it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. What is happening here? EXP, easy EXP level up. 10 EXP, 30 EXP, fairy, magic book. Not researched. Stage one. Tutorial. Advance to the right while defeating the attacking enemies. Destroy the barrier to win the stage. You can consume parts of your summon gauge to summon allies. The number displayed at the cost and the letter is the key to press. What the... You can consume your SP to use skills, use them with Z, and switch between them with A and S. The number displayed in their cost. Uh, yeah, I'm on controller. Your allies will sometimes use special abilities if they're inside your magic circle. You want me to what? attack <clears throat> I, I I don't I don't fully understand it so my SP yeah my shot costs SP I can call friends down they're on a cooldowner or something weird my friends are dying Ah! <laughs> this isn't good. <clears throat> Get him! Jesus! So I can shoot too. And I should. I do damage to the barrier as well. This is weird. I can run past everything, sure, but if they shoot beforehand, I can't jump out of the way. We win! 33 EXP. Okay. So what do I do now? Uh, use EXP to level up. Do I... Do I, like, stand on it? What's the book do? Fairy, magic book, not researched. Oh. Oh, it's a new, new type of, new type of thing. Quagma! Okay. I see. I get it. So if I go back to stage one... I need to wait. I, I, I think I, I think I get it. What summons the book? Uh, D key. I. X. That button works. What button summons the book? Nice. 
no no book summons. Okay, well D on the keyboard works, but there's no D button on my controller. So I can't summon the book. Uh the click of a button. I didn't mean to throw that. Hmm. Uh, keep firing, I suppose. Oh, I can summon both. Okay, I see. Let's do them one at a time. That's weird. I don't have a... Okay, no, I found it. I found the D key. It's my back button. 35 EXP. So I can level the fairy up. I can level the book up. I'm gonna chat. Okay, let me do a little bit. Of, let me do a little stage one here, all right? Just gonna, just gonna let this go. Get, get my fairy friend going. Keeping the magic circle. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Just want to get the fairies in a you know, respectable position. Okay, book's coming. Book's on the way. Almost done. Look how quick that's going. Look at that. Look at that, easy stuff. 29 EXP. Give me a book upgrade. And let's do stage two. Get my friend in here. Oh, I gotta figure out what button summons Quakuma. Eight stages? That's not so bad. It's gonna get the we're gonna get the squad rolling in. Things got bad. <laughs> oh no. Okay, no, we're recovered. Recovered. Nice. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. get really difficult I can tell I understand the premise of it okay let's see quack okay now I have quack so I have fairy quack and book magic boo but that's it stage three she's the C button I wonder what one that is Okay, call the little one. Call in your ground troops. I'm just gonna let the we're gonna let the bar fill a little bit. See I can wait. There's no penalty here for waiting. Just don't be in their range. And then we can just summon a full scale attack. <laughs> Get all my SP, and I just have to sit here and wait. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Move it along. Alright. Once that blue one leaves. Ding, ding, ding. Ding. Very good. My SP is now gone. My HP is one. Guacama likes to take her sweet ass time. I'm getting another one though. She's clearly very strong. Why are there a million blue fairies? Dude! Dude, what? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. No problem. As long as I avoid getting hit, I'm fine. Now I have two Quakamas. Look at that. Ah, th the third one is on the way. Hide. Easy. Easy. Stage four, Bake Bake? I must increase Quack again. All right, but you know what, chat? If it's if it keeps if it keeps track of progress, well, it says it's completed, but it's not completed. I'll do more of that. I'll do more of that later. But uh, got I got the ball rolling at least. Uh, now where do I go? I didn't get any money for that. I don't think. Let's go to the uh, Yokai Mountain. Oh God. I'm sure it won't take that long, but... What's that creature? This is gonna be a vertical stage. What a strange creature. Everybody loves climbing the mountain. Yikes. Yeesh. Money is important. I want to see what those games are, and I want to have money. I also need to figure out what the the, the Sakuya counter is. I'm okay with climbing levels, though. Just you know, if I fall, if I fall all the way back down, I'm gonna feel a little a little bad about it. Just a bit. Wait, isn't this near the start? And if finding collectibles will be easier later on, I won't worry about stressing. I won't stress over looking too hard. Good. I wasn't really expecting a whole bunch of different genres within the game. But, you know, they're 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 doing a good job. Of keeping the variety up, but not being like super outlandish to a point where it's just like confusing. I I don't think I've ever played a game that was that worked the same way as that uh that night parade thing did. I've never played a game like that ever. I don't even know what genre that is classified as. It's definitely the kind of game I'm not very good at, though. Mm. Peach. This 
screen has stopped scrolling upwards, which means if I make this jump, the level's over. Don't, don't die to the last enemy. Oh, oh I wonder who's gonna show up. You feel murderous intent. Excuse me? Two woodmans? Murderers in 10 years from me. Record 60. Oh. Can I burn these leaves? One would think, but it wasn't the case. Nice. Old Kappa Dam construction site. Waterfall of Nine Heavens. Uh, the dam. Chat, the dam was a project in early stages of Wildhorn Hermit, wasn't it? I, I know what this is talking about. I can't remember where I read it, though. But I seem to recall it being early on. They wanted to build a dam or something. But I can't remember exactly what the reasoning behind it was. It was before the cable car. It was in the early chapters. I, I just I can't remember what the purpose of it was, is all. Hmm. Attempt 100%? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I... I don't know. I have no idea. I guess it depends on how stressful- what is- what is- is that- Is that a robot? Well, I already took damage at that point, so... I need HP! Good! Is that a to to toaster? Holy shit. <laughs> He's from Cave Story. Oh. Amazing. I knew it. You got the Tori doll. You see how smart I am? Why would you put a sign there that says go that way when there's only one way to go next to a pit? You gotta think. Whoa, 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 what? Yo, that's kind of insane. Whew. Wait, that was the whole level? No, there's gotta be more. There's gotta, there's gotta be more. There's gotta be more. You can't tell me that secret just skips the whole level. There's gotta be more. God, I should really just use my- I should- I really should use my other weapons, but pause and back being my option to switch between them is not convenient. Oh, I see. That was the whole level. That's fine. That'll take us to Hina Kurukurin. So this is Hina Spin. I don't know what Kurukurin means, but Kuru means spin, doesn't it? Or is that Guru? Is it Guru or Kuru? Either way, Hina Spin. 
Aim for the goal, but don't run into the wall. Change speed. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It didn't auto kill me. Nice. Reminds I, I've I've the Mario Party Seven mini game Battery Ram. Um, um, I hate that game, but I became an expert at it through sheer hatred. Just because I wanted to get it over with so quickly, I learned how to do it properly. So I know how to I know how to fit shapes into gaps. I'm a genius. I understand. Underground guy. Ga Why is that all the way over there? Okay. Um, igloo. Hmm. It all begins in the, in the what? Human village. <laughs> That's where. Uh, I made money, right? So, I have enough, yeah, I have enough money. So let me go visit, let me go visit IQ. Hmm. There she is. And I'll buy the bad dream pill. Thank you! These red pills are butterfly dream pills. Take a few before bed and you'll have good dreams. No nightmares. And you'll wake up feeling great, but my master warns that your real self might swap with your dream self if you have too much. Fun. These... Chat, why is the music speeding up? These black pills are butterfly dream pills, nightmare type, and will give you nightmares. Some people say that nightmares are signs that good things will happen, and others just enjoy the thrill of having a good nightmare now and then. The butterfly dream pills, nightmare type, were designed for those sorts of people. Not for the regular kind that just wants to better to sleep better. Patchy just fainted. Oh, okay, Pat Patchy was spinning because the explanation was too long-winded. Uh, I'm here to sell medicine. Peerless Patriots Elixir. Max HP and SPF for 300. That's a good fucking deal. Okay, uh, yeah, the butterfly dream pill is a thing that's used in a few- Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Oh, you're no longer a dark portal. The butterfly dream pill has been used, uh, and mentioned a few times. Not mentioned a few times. It's mentioned once in canon, and then it's used a few times in fan games and stuff. Like, you use the bad dream pill to get to the- uh, Lunar Capital and Hell in Puppet Dance performance. But yeah, they're just as they say. They're, they're pills that either give you good dreams or bad dreams. And as far as I know, the only customer that Aaron really gets for them is a good dreams one is Alice. So, I don't know what's going on with that. Not much more info on that than that. Okay, so where did that open up? Can I go? Can, is anywhere I can go right now? Probably not. But if it works the same as, a. Uh, I think it does. It'll probably open up the areas I just mentioned. <clears throat> so let's go. Let's go visit Chen. Instructions. Z check. Okay. It's locked. Oh, it's a puzzle. <laughs> it's a puzzle. Dude, what if it's out Oni? Sometimes my controller locks up though. This is out Oni. This I this 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 layout is out Oni. This is out this is this, this is out Oni. <laughs> That's right, Oni. <laughs> oh, oh god. You got a small key. <laughs> You unlock the drawer, you got the extending arm! Mmm, nice. Red Oni, blue Oni, yeah. I was like, this layout looks so familiar. I, I swear I've seen it before. And Yep. Sure enough, open the library. So where's Chen? 
it's a little bit shrunk down because there's no uh no plate shard but there's the upstairs there should be a map on the wall here oh well, it's a little different but the layout is still the same can't look out the window yeah my controller just kind of stalls sometimes because there's no diagonal input so if i use the control stick i just freeze in place which is kind of a problem in this kind of <laughs> situation something went in that room over there so we go here first you see how the wall is different God, he's so smart. You got the black plate. <gasps> oh, it's just a kitty cat. It's just Chen. It's just Chen. It's just Chen. I've played Aoni before. It's, a, it's great. It's a great game. Ah, red Oni, blue Oni. <laughs> What'd you got? <laughs> Your techniques are nothing. You cannot defeat me. That door opened again. What's in here? Secrets? There's nothing on this scroll you see marks where something used to be on the floor. I don't have a combination. Hmm. I got a black plate. I can't look at my items. There's a gap on the floor. Yes, there is. I hope, uh... I hope I, there's a, a part... I hope there's a part where uh, I walk into a jail cell and have to close it, and then they shake the jail. Because that, that, that's pretty iconic. In hindsight, it's really silly looking, but back in the day... Oh. <laughs> I'm sweating, dog. Why can I... Uh, this sounds about right for RPG Maker games. <laughs> mm. Aoni is a game that it's it's one of the it's one of the most uh, fan fan games uh, RPG Maker horror games have gotten. I think it's only behind uh, it's only behind Yume Niki games. I'm missing something. Maybe there's a there's definitely something I'm missing here. Hmm. There was an anime, yeah. Uh, it was a uh, short. It was a bunch of shorts. And they were kind of... They were more comedy-based than anything. They were alright, but like... You know, it kind of turned... The subject matter of Aoni was always kind of like, oh, geez, like, a little spooky. But then there's the there's the live-action movie. I've never really seen it. I wouldn't advise anyone. Uh, there's something behind the bookshelf. Use the extending arm to pick up the candle. Okay. New item acquired, so now I'm gonna get jumped. There's a 44-minute movie that is poorly animated and has nothing to do with the the series itself. So don't watch that. That's trash. And then there's just a bunch of... Uh, there's like a bunch... You know those, those series that come out that are like three minutes long? That uh, each episode is only about three minutes long. So you can pretty much knock out the whole series really quickly. It's one of those. And, and you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. You put the candle where the floor marks are and it lit up. 9111. No, that's not what that says. <laughs> 4768. Four, seven, six, eight. The safe opened. You got a wooden plank. Who puts a wooden plank in a safe? All right, jump me. No? You know one of them's gonna, like, fly through this window, right? Also, the reason this doesn't work is because the whole reason Aoni happened was because they went into the house that was abandoned. They freaked out, tried to leave, and the door was locked. So you're telling me that this open window here, like, I'm not just gonna, like, hop out of there and be done with it? Come on now. What were you thinking? Can I leave? Can I go home? Nope, can't go home. So Chen lives here, huh? You placed the wooden plank. Yeah, Chen lives here, alright. This is hard.
holy shit, there's <laughs> so much going on. That was a good level. That was a good level. I appreciate the reference <laughs> to Aoni. <laughs> Alright. So we got now. The Nijikawa Mansion. I'm not familiar with that location. Battle of Shikigami Nine Tails. It's Ron. Another world. Another world in the clouds, huh? <clears throat> well, I guess when you When you look at the way this goes, I guess it makes sense that you head to Mayohiga. And then the Alice Zone, and then he <laughs> reaches the Netherworld, right? <clears> hmm. <throat> and now where do I go? Ishikawa is a Japanese fandom name for the Prison Rivers. Oh, so it's their house. Oh, that makes sense, because uh, this location... Okay, so for those that don't know, the, Scar the Scarlet Devil Mansion, of course, you know, is located on the side of the Misty Lake. And at one point, it was said to be con uh, on an island in the middle of the lake. Which seemed to have been retconned. There's actually another mansion uh, next to the lake that uh, it's just I didn't know it had a name, but I guess this is just what they call it because they call the prison rivers Nijikawa, which I'm assuming is a combination of the words prism and river. So they just uh, they just you know changed it because I know that Kawa is river, so I assume Niji is prism. Uh, but yeah, there's another mansion. There's an abandoned mansion on the side of Misty Lake that just exists and. I only found out about it because I was doing a dive. I was doing a rabbit hole dive on the, the wiki and I saw it listed as a nearby location. And I clicked it. I was like, what is this place? And it's a mansion where the prison rivers live. Niji is rainbow, so it doesn't translate perfectly. Well, I guess the idea is the prism is like, you know... Because when you look at their spell cards, they shoot rainbow. Like, uh, their spell, all their spell cards, basically. Their last two spell cards, anyway. They fire rain an array of rainbow bullets. So I guess prism... Because you know how the way... Prism prism is like a, like an object where light refracts through it, right? Kind of thing. Right? Am I correct on that? Because when you look at the way their, their final spell cards work, they create lasers and bullets go through them, right? And it reflects the light and creates like rainbow light, right? So they're, they're, they, attack with, they attack with prisms. Yeah? So that's why they're the prism rivers. I guess? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too. Uh, not too. Not quite sure about how this works, but this is Prison River location, basically. So, where do I go from here? Hmm. I never really thought of it that, but yeah, their their last two spell cards work exactly like that. Let's go to Paradise. This is Freeze Easy Peak from Banjo and Kazooie. There's even notes. Oh god, where's my jiggy? <laughs> this makes a Cheerno's theme. Oh, this is good. Hello, not Letty. Don't touch that, you'll freeze. Yep. The, the fuck is that? Demon boy. And there's wind too. Collect all the notes for. Gonna collect all the notes. Kebab. That hit me, didn't it? And that, yep, that is straight from the banjo. Danger, super cold pond, don't go swimming. Gee. <laughs> Thank you, sign. And that's the giant snowman. Yep, this is this is freeze easy peak. This is really cool. I've never, I've never finished Banjo in its entirety, but this is one of the levels I did play through. I stopped playing Banjo around M Mad Monster Manor, so I was really close. I was only about three levels, three worlds before finishing it. I just didn't bother finishing it, I suppose. You know what it was? I got hung up on the uh, swap, stop and swap items because I saw one in the Walrus's Cave, 
And I was like, how the fuck do I get that? And I spent so long trying to get that item. And then I had to like look up it, look it up. And they were like, yeah, this item is inaccessible. And I was like, oh, <laughs> is that so? Wish I knew that before I tried. So there should be a hundred notes per stage. And if I die, they'll reset, so. I need to be careful. Hmm. Nice. Come on, have a heart. I mean that literally, please. <laughs> have a heart. These are platforms you can stand on, but you can shoot through them as well, and they can be shot through. Uh. Hard to tell where I'm going in there, so before I do that, we're gonna make that cool jump. Mm, codes to get them have been found. Uh, I know that when they made, when they re released it, when they released it for the, what do you call it? Xbox like store they made them accessible again. I guess the idea of the stop and swap stuff is too like ambitious I don't remember the exact details of it because I don't know much about that like genre So that's the exit I imagine That's the exit, okay, I'm assuming I need a notes for it or something. I don't know either way I'm gonna get all the I'm gonna get all the notes Ugh. Nope, can't make that jump. Alright. Hmm. And I never played anything about Banjo Tooie. I I've heard uh I, I've heard mixed things about Banjo Tooie. Or at the very least, Banjo Tooie is not as uh not as widely regarded as Banjo and Kazooie was. And the nuts and bolts is uh Nuts and Bolts is a weird one. I'm pretty sure a lot of, uh, Nuts and Bolts is one of those games that people came to accept as not being an awful game in itself, but it's not a Banjo and Kazooie game. But at the time of its release, it was like, it probably did not have a very good reception because it called itself Banjo Kazooie. So no one wanted, no one wanted to talk about how great the game, how uh, not terrible the game was because they, they said they put Banjo-Kazooie's name on it, and then it turned into that, and people were understandably upset. Okay, I really don't want to fuck this up. There we go. Something's controlling the wind up there. I think it's the demon dude. That a giant snowball? Push! Sounds like it broke something. All right, now we're gonna jump off the snowman's head. All right, the N64 could retain some data if you quickly put in another cartridge. They tried to make it a gameplay element, but stopped when, uh, when either they or Nintendo figured it could harm the system and cartridges. Oh. Respect the ambition. I'm short. Six notes. Hmm. Yeah, my computer's back. And we're playing a uh, bean sprout story. Because Hawk and I translated it just earlier today, basically. And it's been very confusing in a lot of places, but it's incredibly, like, uh, well put together at the same time. <laughs> so. I'm very much enjoying it. There's a solid game in here. Even if it looks a little bit strange sometimes. That's pretty hard to pull off. Alright, so now I'm gonna do this. Do this crazy jump. Here we go. I did it. Oh, poog. There we go. Secrets. You got the Cherno doll. Nice.
and we go in the igloo. And these should be the last four notes. An item appeared somewhere. Shit. Hold on, chat. It said an item appeared, so now I have to go find it. Where did it appear? Probably at the top of the snowman. Hmm. Alright. Oh, there it is. There's a record on the floor. I got it, I got it. Hmm. There we go. Record number three. Okay. Good level. I don't know how popular Banjo is overseas. Because, you know, it's a... Uh, I think the when it came to when it came to the Smash announcement, I'm pretty sure the the West liked the banjo announcement way more than the Dragon Quest one, and then the opposite was true for oh there's Letty. It's the DKC three fight against the Snowman. <laughs> ha 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 ha. <laughs> yep, and she laughs too. <laughs> Amazing. That's broken! Cheater! I, I, I gotta, I gotta wait. Her first attack is too fast. So I have to wait for, take my shot. Cheater! You're a cheater! I... <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Why, why did they make a boss based on the bonus game? That made no sense. I, I didn't want to go to swanky shit. I hated him. And they're like, here's a boss where you do the same thing in the bonus game. And it's like, okay, sure. Why'd he laugh like that, though? Yeah, here we go. Not that funny, dude. That should do it. Don't explode. Okay, she didn't explode, but she did have a laughing fit. <laughs> why- why does he laugh like that? He laughs hysterically, and then he goes boom. Hmm. Alright, paradise has been cleared. Good level. That's a great level. On Ain't Stupid. That's an interesting name for a level. Bamboo Forest of the Lost. I wanna talk- I wanna go to On Ain't Stupid. Yoshi's Island? Yep. Ah! It's an auto scroller though. Oh, spikes! No way. Is this is this world one extra stage? No way. This dog name is on. She is cute, isn't she? Hitch a ride. She runs in the direction that Patchy Lee faces. The f she crushed me. I I know this stage. You have to- you have to ride Poochie over a ton of lava. She crushed me. <laughs> well, there's flowers. I hated all the extra stages. They were hard. <laughs> I don't think I beat a single one of them. <laughs> Why do I fall off her? 
What? How do I, what the fuck? How do I make her jump? I can't. I, I did that time. On, come on. On. <laughs> on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she runs in the direction Patchy faces. Oh, please don't do that. I don't get I don't get it. I, I don't I don't I don't understand. I don't know how to get her to, to move the way I want. She runs the way she I face, but then she stops moving. And she crushes me sometimes. Go on, go! Huh? I think there's something here I'm not understanding. Jump over it and it will urge her to catch up. Oh. Okay. is gonna take forever at least at least the the dev gave a one-up here so you're not just like losing a million lives appreciate that much thank you salty later for the twitch prime gaming Ugh. Ugh. I, I did not expect I did not expect on to be poochie Gotta go. That's just from Kirby. <laughs> uh, you know I have to get all the flowers for the bonus, right? Like, that's just Yoshi's Island. That's flowy. Are you kidding me? There's even Undertales? No way. <laughs> this game has fucking everything, dude. I mean, the fact that I'm sitting here with On right now shows that this game has, uh, is not exactly old. I mean, it's probably a little older than I think it is, but it's... It's not- it's no 2009 game. I'm sitting here playing with On. I mean, 16 had to have been out at the time. Which means this game is only about three years old. Undertale. Now oh, get out of here with that. <laughs> I 
Egg. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm getting a lot of money. Let's go on. I have to stay on here. Oh, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, that was my bad. That's all right. I take full responsibility for that one. That one was my bad. I, I, I would like, if there's anything I would like to ask the dev, it, it would definitely be why this one? <laughs> Did you? Did did he want to use on in a in a level, and decided? Okay, decided Poochie was best for that. Like what what decision process arrived at Yoshi's Island Extra Stage One? What got us here? I, I need to know. Be like the first time I ever beat this level with every flower. <laughs> she scares me. I am really bad at that. Look on the bright side, I have a lot of money now. There's, there should be five flowers because that's how many are in Yoshi's Island. There were a hundred notes in the banjo level, so that makes the most sense. Platformer, so you can see on head. Dude, you gotta move. I forgot I could shoot. <laughs> go on, go. Crazy backup dancer. On has to get to the end of the level. She has to. The last flower. Go on. That's four. Okay. Don't kill me. On! You got record 124. Nice. <sighs> On ain't stupid. How could I try any? Okay. That's a big level. That's a big level. God, where do I even go from here? <laughs> Chat, there's so many places to- Hold on, I wanna go to Cordendo. I bought the costumes. I have a lot of money. Thanks. I'm gonna buy Groovy Marissa and Tokiko No Game. Play Tokiko No Game, no. What? Play, there you go. Play Groovy Marissa. Forward shot, back shot, Zen X vertical shot, C bomb, and SP. Thank you, Knight, for giving me the sub. 
SP increases upon defeating enemies rate. The higher it is, the more points you get for defeating enemies. Taking damage cuts rate of in half. Goes up while well with time, but goes up less while firing. Forward shot, backward shot, vertical shot. Whoa. No, miss bonus. And C is bomb. No focus button. Whoa, this is kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. He can tag every direction. I don't need those bonuses in the middle of the screen every every time I do something though. Shit. They're they're a little more distracting than anything. There yeah. I pressed the bomb button by accident. Jesus, dude. I pressed the bomb button again by accident. That's what I was trying to do. Yikes. Got record 103. Is that it? One level, or is there more? Okay, one level. So you get a record for it. And this is, uh... Tokiko no game. What? Exit, Corindo. Whoa, excuse me? What's... I thought it would be... I thought it would be Tokiko. Hmm. Hmm. Time-consuming thing and the progress will be saved. Well met. Take it easy while you're here. Okay, but where am I? Can I... Can't leave. That's weird. Similar issue with uh, Ao the Aoni one, where D-pad is pretty much the only way to move here, because your movement stalls otherwise. Tokiko no game one. One, huh? Game four? This is gonna be one of those one of those haha -ha games. Yeah, it is. <laughs> They're gonna shoot up. No? Where's the haha? -ha? Where's the haha? -ha? I know the haha -ha is coming. Game two. Spikes. Oh, the platform moves. Continues to move. Okay. Hmm. Uh, there, there was blued. I blued. I want to be the magician. Game three. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, yep, here we go. Here we go. There's, there's got to be a funny. Where's the funny? Where's the funny? I know you're holding out on me. Oh, we're good. 
That's not correct. Oh, that's that's not that's not correct. I don't like this game anymore. All right, how are you doing in this mess? Take it easy while I'm here. Are you looking around, dude? Things aren't looking too good. Stage four. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> It's so fast. Okay. Dude, it's so fast. Fuck. Okay. Ah. <laughs> 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 I knew it. I, I fucking knew it. I, I was waiting for the ones above me to fall downwards. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Demo <laughs> gifting a sub. Jesus. Okay. What? That's it? What? Ah. Hmm. I had to see. Maybe that was like fake spikes. Maybe that. Maybe they were fake. They weren't fake. They were real. They were very real. Oh, I can shoot? I don't think that really does anything, though. I don't think I can... I don't know if I can make that jump. That's gonna kill me, like, at least a hundred times alone. Okay. I... Hmm. Hmm. Fucking knew it. I knew it. I was ready. I was ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Good. I've seen everything. I've seen everything now. You can't. You can't catch me off guard again. <laughs> well, I guess I can just fuck up a jump. That doesn't count as catching me off guard, though. I forgot. I forgot. I. I didn't get off fast enough. I forgot again! 
Obstacle one, the hardest obstacle. <laughs> ah! You can tell right away when a game has an excessive amount of spikes that it's gonna be one of those games. <laughs> I forgot again. Tokiko no game, huh? <laughs> oh. Okay. Hmm. This is so scary. <sighs> now chat, let's think about this. So there's, 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 a, there's, there's spikes under the rocks. There's a wall of spikes. There's the ceiling of spikes. So here's what's gonna happen. The wall is gonna shoot at me. The ceiling's gonna fall, the bridge is gonna collapse, or the bridge is gonna push me so fast up into the spikes I can't react. Place your bets. Oh, all the above. I gotta do a perfect jump at the end. Oh! Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh! That jump survived. That jump made it, and then the spikes fell off the ceiling and killed me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <clears throat> By the way, chat, there is a there is an I wanna be the guy game for Toho. They're called I Wanna Be the Shy Maiden, one and two. Uh, I don't know much about them. Uh, aside from that, they're not the greatest games ever made. And you know, when you're talking about I wanna be the guy games, a lot of them are obviously very difficult. But I think this game fell more on the spectrum of cheap bullshit ass not fun. So, I probably wouldn't ever touch them. But they exist, if you really want to see them yourself. Patchy, what part of you touched that spike? Huh? Wait, you're fucking bunion? Like, what happened there? <laughs> what, what touched the spike? I don't think I've ever seen more than one stage of Cat Mario. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. I'm a master at this stage now, though. Tokiko no game. Tokiko no game. Tokiko no game. It's Tokiko. T Toki, to Toki, you've doomed me. You killed me. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> you have to jump. Okay. A little close. Alright. Tokiko is angry. This is what happens when you take her book. She traps you in an awful game. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 34. Why did I do that again? I get so I get concentrate on everything else. I forget that that last bit happens. Let's say a bad word. Frick! Why is your head so flat, Patchy? Huh? Why are you so horizontal? What do I do now? What the hell do I do now? <clears throat> Why are there unlock blocks? What are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you... What are you doing? Get up here. Get up here right now. Sure. longest range block four no the booble oh the booble is better okay booble has more range it 
If she decides to attack, I just kind of die, huh? down here. What are you doing up there? Face me, coward. Get down here! She's baiting me. She's baiting me. She's waiting for me to get up there. That's how you want to play. Get down here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Get down here. What are you doing? Fine. Record 13. <laughs> Holy shit. I bought everything from his store. He could not give me any more. Rhymes. God, there's still so much chat. This is an incredible game. <laughs> there's so much variety. Wait, where did this come from? Suddenly Narumi? Hold on. Narumi's now in the middle of the, the world map here. Maho Shoujo Narumi. It's Bowser. It's Bowser from Mario Bros. 3. Hurt. Do I do I shoot her down or do I finish her a la Mario Bros. 3 style? Back door door. Maho Jizo. No, I'm, Chad, I'm gonna finish her Mario Bros. 3 style. She's like Kamek Bowser, basically. Oh, whoops. I cannot believe she didn't hit me. Bye. Yeah, there we go. 125. You gotta beat it like intended. Nice. 
And now it opened it opened Okina's area. Because this is actually how you get to the... Stage 5 is access through the back of uh, Narumi, who's stage 4. So that makes sense. Whew, there's so much to do. This I want to... Chad, I want to keep playing, but I don't want to... It's almost been three hours, and I don't want to... I don't want to burn myself out on it. But holy shit, I just... Let me do it. Let me do another round of Night Parade here. Alright, let me do another round of this. Let's do stage four. Alright, so we're gonna wait. We're gonna charge that time. We're gonna see what these enemies do. He just turns... He turns invisible. It's like... I, I don't know if that's good or bad or not. Charging some SP before I summon my, my quack. Oh, I got shot. Okay. Just, okay, there's a lot of them, so let's just let them all pass by me. Just gonna wait. Just gonna wait. It's, it's getting... It'll reset, right? <laughs> there's four of them in a group right now. Okay, now there's three. Now there's four again. Mm. Now there's five in a group. I waited too long. I can make this one happen because I waited too long. I can chip at the bear at border myself, but I can't get people. I can't get reinforcements over here. Problematic. Summon the goon squad. As long as I can get my foot in the door here. I really can't though, huh? That's way too costly for killing one. Putting up a fight? Are we putting up a fight? That was an accident. I think. I think we're doing it. another quack. She got stuck. But that's okay because we have we have people at the, we have people here finally shooting. Even if she's she's holding them back. Keep it up. Keep it up. Just if I get shot by accident it's going to really suck. <laughs> Come on. 
come on. Oh no! 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 I was so close! Okay. We're going to stage three. We're, we gotta we gotta grind. Stage four is too hard. It's too hard for my small brain. I'm not moving. Wait until my wait until my quack's charged. On the way. I might grind this off stream to get it over with. This is not very exciting to watch. Offensive has been started. Now I wait so I can summon another quack. <clears throat> Just max level everything and steamroll it for next time. So yeah, this is a, it's a little slow paced. I missed the most important shot. I ran out of shit. Uh oh. Mission complete. I want, obviously I need to, I need to do this to get the whole thing done. So that's 152 EXP. Oh, did I get EXP when I lost? So, let's upgrade Quack. Twice. Level four Quack, okay. You know what? I believe in her. Let's get it right now. She can do it alone. I only need one of her, that's it. all I need. Get through me. And yeah, just walk on through. Just walk on through. Alright. We'll get the other one over here and now we're gonna wait. She can do it. Just You just gotta trust her. I'll come. I'll call back up in for. All it takes is one good upgrade. Call in three of them, little devils. Who needs the fairies when you got three little devils? Nice. My book died. I'll bring him back. Don't worry. Now it's getting a little bit scary, but that's okay. 
I think I think the clock must got it. Easy. 48 EXP. Stage 5. Alice dolls, huh? Upgrade the book. Okay, yeah, so chat, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna make some levels magic happen off stream for that. And I won't worry about that, alright? Because that's, uh... It's a bit of a slow, uh, slow burn. But I'm gonna stop here because it's been three hours, basically. And there's so... There's still so much to do. <laughs> there's still so much to do and there's so much I want to see. All the references so far have been fucking fantastic. Like, there's just so much about this game that is amazing. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing more of it. Good god. So I'm gonna stop here. Make sure it saves properly. Amazing. And I will resume playing this... I will resume playing this on Tuesday. Not Tuesday, sorry. Oh yeah, Tuesday, because I'll be finishing Double Focus tomorrow. Bean Sprout Story. This is great. It's a great game. <laughs> and it seems like I've barely really made a dent in the overall content of it, which is pretty impressive when you think about it, because this is a free game. This is a game you can just you can just go download and play it yourself. No big deal. And I played it for three hours there. Fucking Tokiko no game, though. So I definitely look forward to... I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of that. Because it just, I want to see how much, I want to see how much further it gets with its strangeness. And to be honest, a lot of the music tracks are really good. <laughs> like, uh, there are a bunch of, there are a bunch of mixes of games with Toho themes that somehow end up going together really well. Way better than I expected them to. So I want to see, uh, I want to see what other game genres get chosen here. It's also a lot of fun to be able to recognize the references. Like, uh, recognizing the Aoni, uh, the, the Yoshi's Island stage, the specific Yoshi's Island stage, mind you. Uh, Freeze Easy Peak, Ice Climber, there's, there's just so many references in here, and it's, it's great to be able to pick them out and see them. And the attention to detail that the dev has put into a lot of, uh, the characters and stuff is very, very impressive. Like, making Eternity Larva's final attack, her using, uh, Clown Piece's torch... And having the Tsuchinoko enemy show up in the show up in the the great tree in the forest and attack with vines like there's it's it, it's it's real small in the grand scheme of it all, but like I noticed it I understood the reference it's a good reference and it's just it's just fantastic so this game is making me smile, the human village I need information on that stage okay that stage was that stage was I don't I don't know what you call that. Usually you say it's out of left field, right? But that shit was so far off the field that it came from the stands. Like, that stage was just... What was that stage? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it was so weird. That was cis RPG? What the... What is that? I, that was weird. It was a weird stage. It was fantastic. It's a series of videos. <laughs> Well, whatever, okay. I need to figure out what that is then. Fake RPGs made an RPG maker. It was incredible. It was so goofy. I, 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 <laughs> oh my. So yeah, hopefully, you know, we'll probably see more stuff along those lines. Uh, along those lines further in. I'm definitely looking forward to it.